Industrial and systems engineering is a pretty young engineering discipline and therefore a lot of people don't really understand what it's about. What industrial and systems engineers do is they think about problems differently. So rather than focusing on a narrow aspect of technology, they're system integrators. They want to think about how all the pieces fit together like a giant puzzle. Industrial and systems engineers, we have a saying where we don't make things, we make things better. We like to improve efficiency. We like to make things faster, make things cheaper. So a good example is Amazon. Amazon is able to get you a thing on your doorstep at a dirt cheap price in two days. It takes an army of people figuring out just exactly how to do this in a reliable way so that they can keep their costs down. They have an army of industrial systems engineers employed at Amazon. If you take my CAD class, one of the purposes of this course is to be able to make and follow a plan. And one of the big takeaways is your plan needs to be right. And if you're, if you're designing something to be built and your plans are not right, then the thing you're gonna be building is also not right. The first mini assignment or the first mini project that we do in the class is to take pieces of this puzzle cube and I want them to model them. I want them to make all kinds of different 3D models of these different parts. And I also want them to then recreate what these parts look like. There's multiple different ways that you can model something, and one of them is not necessarily right, and one of them's not necessarily wrong. As long as it gets to the end goal, we're gonna consider that a, a correct path. And so, when we were using the textbook, it very much had one definitive path, and you had to follow that one path. And if you deviated from that path, then there's no way, there's no way for you to recover and get back to the path uh, without a lot of assistance from myself or the TAs that are helping me out. And so with this new teaching style, I just tell them what the end goal is. And I, I kind of start them out and I say, this is the way that my brain wants to do it. This is, this is where I want to go uh, to get to this end goal. However, if you have another idea of how to get there, that's great. There's not necessarily one correct answer to this problem. And so we're involved in that technology part, but we're also involved in how do we turn this raw material into a product and make money? while we're doing it. So it is a much broader type of engineering discipline that oftentimes has the same kinds of metrics as somebody who's thinking about a business proposition. Industrial and systems engineers, we are the big picture engineers. We're gonna look at the whole system, we're gonna look at the big picture of everything and make sure that everything within that system is operating very smoothly. And everything out of that system is not being negatively impacted by the things inside the system. And so students who are interested in improving productivity, improving performance, and thinking about the people, the products, the technologies, the materials, all aspects of it and bringing those together, those are the type of people that make good industrial and systems engineers.